And we are back for some more Super Robot Wars. Let's go ahead and load back up. We'll have some uh, ace chats to get to as well. Now, let's see. Power parts first. Caucasian V2. Let's go ahead and get some things on there. Auxiliary GS ride. Uh, any Gal Gygar. Okay. Um, so where are you guys? Crystal tissue isn't all that great. We'll give the uh, auxiliary GS ride to that. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, give or take, yeah. Not a rogue guy. You presume the V2 also counts. I mean, it's not a, a Gal Gygar unit. I don't know. Case cake. Crystal tissue. Wish bracelet. There we go. Alright, the Lion revived Phoenix uh, to prepare for the threat posed by Conqueror King, uh, King Jader. The team heads to orbit base. But we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, we've got Five Wave Battle 1. We've got Tomorrow's Brave. As he learns about uh, Guy's combat record, Ernie is excited but also considers his next steps. And also Ace Chat for Keita and Hinoki. All right, ace chat for Keita. Congratulations, Keita. I heard you made ace. Yeah, cool. Got any presents for me? Uh, I didn't bring you anything. Aw, oh, that's a shame. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have the first idea what kind of present to get for you. I should have asked Hinoki. She probably knows everything there is to know about you. <laughs> Maybe. After all, we are engaged. Now that you're an ace, I bet Hinoki sees you as more dependable than ever. Hearing that is the best present I could have asked for. Thanks, Ellie. Kata seems so happy. I wish someone could be as head over heels for me as he is for Hinoki. Uh, let's see, 50 PP and a defense up. And now Hinoki. Congratulations, Hinoki. I hear you made ace. Thanks, but, um, I'm supposed to be a researcher. But you're just as much a pilot as any dedicated professional when you're paired up with Keita. Well, the credit there belongs to Kei. I mean, team member Aono. Alright, you like to call him Kei, huh? It's habit. We've been doing it since we were kids. I'd love to hear more about you two. Like how you first met, or what led you to going out? I never knew you were so inquisitive about these things, Ellie. I just thought celebrating your new ace status would be a good occasion to learn more about you. Uh, also, if you do this mission before infiltrating Zanskir, when Oliver proposes to Marbit, they comment on how there are now two official couples. Oh, I'm... It's a shame that they don't do the reverse here, then. Oh well. And we got an evade up. 50 more PP. More people to guilt trip Koji. And tomorrow's brave. Dry Strager Messall. And so with our desperate struggle over, we had protected Tokyo from EI-01. Ah. What's wrong, Ernie? I'm so moved. The battles of Guy and the brave robots are so inspiring. A hero who wields bravery as their weapon, together with valiant comrades, the heroes we call Braves. The Gal Gygar, born of a fusion of the G-Stone from space and Earth's finest technological accomplishments, piloted by the masterful hands of the world's strongest cyborg, Guy Shishio, the culmination of all dreams and aspirations. 
In this moment, reality has become greater than the most powerful fiction. I'm glad you're enjoying the story, but I haven't even told, told you half of it all yet. You mean to tell me my racing heart is only going to go faster? It's going to explode at this rate! Yeah, for Ernie, that might be a statement of fact rather than hyperbole. Yeah, maybe we should take a short break. That sounds good. Besides, it'd be a shame to have this wonderful story just be over and done with so quickly. But oh, the Battle of Braves! I'm so glad I was able to come to this world. It's kind of funny you'd say that. From where I'm standing, your story is a pretty ripping tale of adventure itself. Yeah, absolutely. Ernie's cuteness is legendary. I think you're missing the point a bit, Addy. My cuteness, huh? What's wrong, Ernie? Not like this is the first time Maddie's called you cute. Still, after hearing Guy tell his story, it's a little... Ernie. I can't help but feel the pilot of a super robot of justice needs a certain bold manliness. I've made some silhouette knights as an engineer, but perhaps I lack the talent to be a truly great night runner. I hardly think that's true. Don't try to soften the blow. Looking at you, Guy... Or even the new 3G like Kaido and Mamoru uh, makes me painfully aware of what I lack. Hmm. Well then, here's a photo you should take a look at. Oh my gosh, they're so cute! Who are these two boys? That would be Mamoru and Akumi. As they were ten years ago during 3G's first fight. Oh, huh. Yeah, they've got the same hairstyles. They're both so cute! Ah, now you get it, Ernie. I doubt Addy wants to hear this, but a man can't stay cute forever. A time comes for every boy to grow up into a man. I mean, ladies can still find them cute. When that time comes, the person who will decide what kind of a man you become is me alone, right? Exactly. If you think there's something you lack in who you are now, then what you need to do is strive to gain it. Thank you so much, guy. Accepting one's own weakness and choosing to move ho move on from it. Now that's true bravery. When you can do that, you'll be a brave too. And that will be when you grow from a boy into a man. No! Ernie must remain cute for all time! I mean, he probably will, Addy, just not the same kind of cuteness. <sighs> You're ruining it for Ernie, Addy. Don't worry, Addy. I'll always be me, no matter what happens. But you were just talking about how you wanted to move on from being cute to be cool, right? I thought I did until just a moment ago, but not now. The fact is, Guy's bravery has nothing to do with his appearance. It comes from his heart. I, too, will hold to my endless love of robots, no matter what happens. I believe that someday that will make me the person I am shine like he does. That's so wonderful, Ernie. I knew it. Ernie is definitely Ernie. Well, no matter what anyone else says... They're you to the... Well, no matter what anyone else says, you're you to the end, I think. Now, with that settled, it's time to install that bullet X system guy was talking about onto my Ikaruga. Oh, but maybe I should prioritize developing some tool-like equipment to be able to respond to a wide variety of situations. In that case, I guess the first step is going to be talking to the 3G... to 3G about a technological cooperation agreement that would get me across... A, a, get me access to a GS ride. I'll have to put together a plan, then I can take it to the Chief Batson... Jiaquan. You understand, Ernie. Just as I have bravery, you have your love for robots. It's that heart that makes you who you are, even now, in this very moment. Keep fighting, brave from another world. Hold fast to that feeling of yours forever. And 2,000 MXP. Nice. Alright, yeah, we got the uh, five-wave battle one, but uh, I... I well, actually, you know what? The uh, the difference between the B and S is not that much. Huh. All right. First of all, AOS updates. Go with the engine room. Yeah, we're working towards the uh, power part. Hmm. 
All right, we'll uh, go ahead and save that then. All right, let's see. We've got Escape Giwaza. And I think we'll do the Red Comet's duty first. Quattro has a rendezvous with collaborators at Axis, who have been leaking Xeon intel. I wonder why it's Mond Sector and not Armstrong Sector, because that's where Axis is. I mean, that's Axis, right uh, up to the left of that. Eh, alright, whatever. Alright, Mon Sector, the Red Comet's duty. Quattro enters the fray. Oh, and Quattro is getting put back into uh, Hyakushiki. Of course. It's kind of annoying that it's not tied to the pilot itself. They moved Axis back into place after the failed drop. Yeah, and apparently they put it back together again, too. Because it broke up into two pieces in Shard's counterattack. Uh, if this is the mission you think it is, then Quattro has some work to do really fast for a point towards the secret. Okay. Axis. Oh, hey, cool. Split in two. Okay, I guess it is still split in two. Split in two like this, it's a shameful shadow of what it was, but it still exists. Almost like who I am now. Nah, enough of this dull-witted self-deprecation. I may not be able to live with a shred of pride, but I decided I would keep fighting in, a way, in any way I could. Maybe that was just the back part. Inside Axis, Hangar. Ah, we're from Narrative. Member of the uh, Garen Sierra's team. Oh, he was from uh, Unicorn Gundam before that, I think. A friend of Benajer from their time back at Anaheim Elect Electronics Technical School and the mechanic for the space transport, Garen Sierra's Jr. All right, Flast, we've got the Yakushiki Kai in. Next up is to overhaul it. Get it set up, just like Nanai said. Helmsman of the Space Transport, Garen Sierra's junior, member number two of the uh, Garen Sierra's team. An acquaintance of the Captain Zinnerman from an Earth Federation Forces prison in his time after the One Year War. Roger, this should be a good challenge. Sorry, Nanai. I shouldn't be making you take care of the Yakushiki Kai for me. It's your personal machine, Captain. It may not be red, but it matters a lot to a... It matters a lot to us all the same. I'm not Shar Aznable anymore. Well, even so... Full Frontal's legacy is in Zeon's hands now. Couldn't use the information you provided to stop it. A shame. He said the same, and he knew full well the danger that thing possesses. Poses. I'll take responsibility. For the Neo Zeong, for the return of the Red Comet, and for the Psycho Frame. Captain, you don't need to shoulder this entire burden on your own. Actually, I'm not sure if we'd uh, read her recently. Neo Zeon, a tactical officer and head of a new type research institute. As a tactical officer, she had earned enough trust from Shar to be placed in key roles, such as commanding the operation to attack Luna 2. She also left a, a solid track record of successes at the New Type Research Institute, such as cultivating Gunegus's talent. She was Shar's lover and supported him in private, as well as in her official duties. However, her displeasure was plain to see when Shar brought Quest of Pariah on board. There is indeed a lot of Saikami running around, yeah. can do it than I. If I wasn't willing to go that far, I wouldn't be the kind of man who's done what I have. You seem like you've moved on in a way. Is it because you joined the Hamtopia?
Uh, you should have all the points you need to, to do what you need to do for the secret when the time comes, but it never hurts to have all the points. Yeah, I'm always a fan of that. Yeah, so when we get into the fight, let me know what I need to do if it's not, like, super obvious. Essentially. You were talking about responsibility. They're helping you bear that responsibility, aren't they? I've got more than just the Hamtopia helping me. Your group is, too. The hopes and thoughts of everyone here in on Axis. I won't let them go to waste. I came out here to tell you that. When we picked you up after your fight with Amuro Ray, you were like the living dead. Confronting your mistakes, the future of the world, that light that swallowed Axis, it broke you. But now you're ready to ho you're ready to hope again. That's all I could have ever wanted. The princess will find that very comforting, I'm sure. How is she doing? She's trying to put a collar on Monaghan Bakaro, but... Uh, the Foreign Minister of the Republic of Zeon. He is the son of Darcia Bakaro, the Prime Minister of the Republic of Zeon at the time of its foundation. His goal is to revive Zeon through any means necessary. One of his plans consisted of secretly sending a squadron led by Zoltan Akinen to capture the mobile suit Phoenix. He's willing to join hands with Zanskar. I'm sure he's not easy to handle. Still, given that he hasn't yet used the name of the Republic of Zeon in that, I'm assuming he thinks he has and needs insurance in case he fails. Alright, have a good have a good evening, uh, Mr. Wolverine. Mad Martin, you found some uh, Saikamu behind the couch? Well, just leave it there. You know, no one's using it. It's fine. Just, just let, it, let it sit back there. So, this conflict between Earth and Xeon. We just have to end this war before it comes out in the open. The Hamtopia will fight for that, too. You must be a perfect fit there. It seems like you all love taking on responsibility. No one there believes they're shouldering too much. I think I understand now, Cap. Now what's behind that smile on your face, Captain? Would you like to meet the, with the princess? No. I don't believe I have that right. Still, someday, once I've finished my mission, I'll... Uh-oh, under attack! What's going on? It looks like Zanskare's approaching. Oh, this is bad. They might have seen the captain arrive at Axis. If our connection to the, with the Hamtopia becomes known, it could put the princess in a tight spot. Is the Yakushiki Kai's overhaul done? Yes, sir. We've set it up just like you... Just like you like, Captain. Everything as an I ask. Well, then... Zanskar, you say? Get to bathtub. Now, you don't know that she's in the group, Mad Martin. Captain! We want to come with you. Sure. Yeah. We were touched by the light in people's hearts. We tried to help push Axis back. So we... Already left Neo Zeon behind. We know just how you feel now, Captain. Please. Thank you. Just knowing people like you are out there makes me glad I chose to live with my sins. You will always be prepared. That's why I must go alone. I'm the only one who has to ser serve those who would fight for your wishes. New Neo Zeon. Yeah, that's just like uh, um, uh, Neo Cartagena. Uh, A.K.A. New 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 Town. Because uh, Cartagena is Carthago Novo, which is New Carthage. And Carthage is New City, or New Town. There, there is a Neo Cartagena on the moon in uh, Mobile Suit Gundam. That's right, Nanai. It's better that way. Oh, I don't rem recognize that suit. Oh, hey, it's Chronicle! The Char clone from, uh, from Victory Gundam. He is uh, wearing a different pilot suit. It's the Hamtopia Golden Machine. Is it being attacked by Axis? Sandscare Unit Captain, come in. We're currently trying to intercept an enemy scout. We don't have any functioning units to send out. Requesting assistance. What do we do, Captain? 
We are allies, so the fact is we can't ignore them. Even if this is just idiotic theater. New New, a.k.a. High New. The enemy command unit is taking the lead. Uh, Quattro needs to shoot down Chronicle within two turns, huh? Uh, figurative clone. Golden Machine from the Hamtopia. Your pilot is Char Asnable, isn't it? You'd be the perfect foe to test my rig Contio on. If parts of the Xeonic leadership are in touch with the Hamtopia, then we, then we can reveal that after he's been taken out. Commander's in the lead. That's perfect. I can take him, and that should give me a path through. The Hakushiki Kai's been tuned up. I can do this. All right, defeat all enemies. Quattro shot down. The full armor Hyakushiki Kai has serious firepower and a map attack. Put it through its faces, and you'll find it's more than capable of fending off large groups all by itself. Alright, so let's take a look at the Rig Contio. Alright. See? He's got his mask on now. He's a shark clone. Figuratively. This entire channel is a Hamtopia, yes. Alright, let's see. Um, ignore size L2, support attack L2, guard L2, instinct L2, morale plus defense, and potential L7. And a variable beam launcher map weapon. Hmm, oh, interesting. Shot claw with internal beam weapon. Variable beam launcher non-map version. Okay. Do you have anything that's going to give you extra... No. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could just murder him. Straight up slaughter him. Uh, what parts do you have? You have case cake. Right, because I took off the other stuff. Alright, long Mega Buster. All right. Yeah, let's just kill him. Oh, it also got some stat and weapon boosts. Oh, that's nice. Instant shoot down. Yep. I mean, I did soul, to be fair. Oh, it has an extra part slot, too. Huh. Ah. But it has no new type weapons. That's kind of the... That's part of the problem. If you truly are Char Asnable... Then you'll make a fine stepping stone on my ascent. The Red Comet is dead. Stop letting it tie you down. If you want to become someone of note, stop relying on others to help prove you are that person. <laughs> ah, you fool. Now he gets enough X counter. You're good, I'll give you credit there. I see he's got the skills to take point. If this drags out, it'll go badly for me. The Hamtopia! That's... Oh, hello. Huh. I'll back you up. I see, you're the... Do you really think one extra unit is going to change the situation? He and I both have our eyes set on what we're fighting for. 
We won't die easily. There aren't any allied units shot down. He's strong. The rumors must be true. You've got a sharp eye. What? I'm relieved to know she's got someone like you beside her. Oh, is that... Alright, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't... I'm gonna... I'm gonna guess who it is, and I don't want a yes or no. Do not give me a yes or no. I'm suspecting that's Banaja right now. Thank you very much, Captain. Ah, and there's the Hamtopia now. Dreistrager! And... Rock Hylum, reinforce. Luckbine, L Game Mark II, Assault. We'll bring out High New and MP New, Zeta. Uh, we should get... Ah, uh, shoot. Hold on a second. Option parts. Get the Apex. I wish it would automatically switch back to them in space. Uh, let's see. Is there anyone else that I would want for this? there's anyone uh, else from Victory who might have something interesting to say or do other than Uso. So we'll bring Marvin. Yeah, I'm thinking more specifically someone who might have a conversation uh, element with uh, someone on, uh, based on getting into a fight. Oh, wait, you know what? I want Brownie. I forgot about Brownie. There we go. Are you okay, Lieutenant? I'm not about to die yet. Another mobile suit. It's a suit that helped us out before. Always gotta have her daily brownie, yes. Well then, Captain, I think I need to depart. I see you don't intend to introduce yourself. I'm very sorry. However, I'm very glad I got the chance to meet the man who was once the Red Comet. Also, I want you to know something. She's been practicing the violin for you. Has she? Who is that? One of those members of the next generation you have such high hopes for. I don't need to show the Hamtopia the Rick Contio while it's still being tested. It's time we fall back. They will learn just how strong I am when the time comes for us to settle things for good. Well, hi, bye to that guy. Yep. And there goes uh, Chronicle. What's with him? The captain ran, him off, ran off on his own. I wasn't able to collect much info, but that new model suit he has, it's got some real power. So Zanskare's reinforcing their own units as well, preparing for the decisive battle. Uh, was that the one that ran into an asteroid? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Our first priority has to be the Zanskare units in front of us. All units, back up Lieutenant Quattro and open fire on enemy forces. He's only around when Chronicle gets to 50% hit points and on turn two. Oh, okay. So I might have had an opportunity to actually look at the suit. Eh, it's fine if that ha if that's the case. Those who have gathered in Axis and the Hemtopia. My mission is lo no longer just mine alone. Alright, Quattro shot down, Allied Warship shot down, defeat all enemies. Alrighty. 
Okay, uh, first of all... Uh, no, I'm pretty sure he is not in here, not a rogue AI. Pretty sure... I mean, I don't know what happened to him in, uh... Super Robot Wars, uh, canon, but, uh, I'm pretty sure he's not around. Uh, let's go with... Yep, so on. There go. Now, my guess is that that was Banajer Lynx from, uh, Unicorn Gundam. <laughs> Seriously, Pa? Seriously? It's supposed to be better than that. <sighs> well, at least you can kill him with Balkans. Well, Super Robot Wars has a tendency to not have people die, so... That'll be a shoot down. That is a spray, holy cow. If the series comes in post plot, it doesn't really do do that for it. That's true. I mean, I just like I. I don't know. Um, I mean, obviously, we've seen that uh, there's multiple Super Robot Wars con uh, continuities that involve the many of the same shows, kind of thing, uh, like Uso being known by the guys from the SRX, kind of thing. So. I just don't know what took place in this continuity prior to this game. That's all I'm saying. Let's go ahead and save her you. But yeah, it's certainly fair that uh, if they're handling this after either the plot or certain parts of the plot, yeah, people who died probably are actually dead there. <laughs> down. I mean, you didn't have to engage him up close, Ellie. You just chose to. Alright, now we... Various Blessing... Sprites cheer. Alright, we don't have any uh, named people here, do we? No. Alright.
Nope. No one else that we can uh, restore an order to. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get a uh, kill for you. Oh dear. All right. Take it Anne's way. Although I suppose. Oh yeah, you're you don't have enough uh, morale. Go ahead and do that. There we go. That'll be a shoot down. Uh, yeah, they haven't they haven't revealed who that is. My guess is that it's Benajer, based on what he was saying. But I don't know, and I'm not looking for spoilers on that. Right, let's go ahead and auto cannon you to death. Uh, no, it wasn't on the screen long enough to uh, see. Um. Because I, <laughs> I killed Chronicle too fast. Yeah. Yerum. Get a bless. Get a, a cheer. Yeah, I didn't recognize it, the uh, mobile suit offhand. But I haven't watched narrative yet, so. Too bad no uh, double Zeta. Yeah, it is a shame that there is no double Zeta in this. I really want to know what the um, the witch from Mercury is going to be about. Uh, just stand by. You don't need to do a, a shoot down. Full armor double Zeta versus Faz. Uh, I mean, Faz is from uh, Sentinel. I would love Sentinel, but I don't. Think that's happening anytime soon. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and spirit and zeal so that we can get across the screen. Yeah, a female main character is uh, quite exciting. That's what I'm I'm hoping for. There we go. I mean, I think you're a little hung up on my... how just how much I like the Faz, not a rogue AI.
I mean, S Gundam is so much nicer. Alright, let's see. So there was no comments from them, unfortunately. Um... Multi-action, make sure that you guys have multi-actions on. Your old beam sword on you. I still need to build my Master Grade uh, Gundam Mark V, which I am looking forward to, but I've also decided to put it, like, it's at the bottom of my pile. I want to build, make all the other stuff first. Just want to know if I like the original or the... Uh, I, I like, I mean, the the look of the Faz is way better than the standard uh, Full Armor Double Zeta. And the main reason for that is just um, uh, the Gundam colors are nice, but at the same time, there are other color schemes that are better. And that's just what it boils down to. Imagine trying to balance Faz's Hyper Mega Cannon for the game. I mean, they balance, like... It's not going to be any more powerful than these other things, and if they can put if they can put Ideon in these games too, then I mean they'll figure out <laughs> something. Did I X action? Yeah. Okay. Uh, not just a moon, it can cut through a planet. Yeah, it would just be a map weapon. We've seen plenty of others. Right, and, and that wasn't even Idion's most powerful weapon, either. And there's the biosensor, a little too late. Alright, let's go ahead and boost dash. Spirit, a cell. Spirit, a cell. Oh, it's powered by children. Yeah, Ide is the uh, the power source. I mean, you know, like, what exactly that is is uh, certainly up for debate and interpretation. But it's basically powered by children. And yeah, the, the, the Ideon's weakest built-in weapon is a, bla is a micro black hole. That is its weakest built-in weapon. Resolve, just to be on the safe side. We've got multi-action. Okay, 
go ahead and beam sword this guy. I mean, my favorite thing about uh, um, Ideon is that it the story is literally just a cosmic misunderstanding. And Ellie is up to level 99 now, with almost 400 score. And let's just murder this guy, just straight up slaughter him, blast him to oblivion. Full impact black hole cannon with a crit and uh, soul, you know, just casual death and destruction. One hundred nine thousand. Mm -mm. Are we done? Still, I didn't know Axis was out here. On top of that, it looks like people are still living on that in that hunk of rock. So then that means there's Xeon people aboard. Regardless of who they are, they aren't an enemy we need to fight. Just minor overkill, yeah, you know. I, I just needed to make sure, you know? Maybe he regenerates, you know? Just something like that. Correct, Lieutenant Quattro? Yes. Very impressive, Char Asimov. Even without your name, you still gather people behind you. I hope Bale and I can live up to your example. Are you finished here? Essentially, staying here any longer will only cause more problems. Well then, all units fall back and we'll withdraw. Captain, I'll be praying for your victory. Forgive me, Nanai. This world no longer needs the Red Comet. However, I will fulfill the mission I bear as myself. I hope I can be allowed to hear your hear her play the violin at least one more time before I die. Inside Axis. That is a that's a big room. That is also a room that looks uh, an awful lot like uh, <laughs> a room that wasn't on Axis in Shar's counterattack. I see. So Shar's been. A descendant of the Zabi family, the leaders of uh, the Principality of Zeon. Even decades after the end of the Principality, when she was just a baby, she had held great influence with those who still rallied to the name of Zeon. She resided in the Vist Manor aboard the space battleship Magellanana, Magellanica? Magellanica, yeah. Where she watches uh, the world's actions. Concerned over the Republic of Xeon's secret plans to capture the Phoenix under uh, Minister Monaghan, she dispatches the Garancier's team to prepare for any unexpected occurrences. And she has no voice. Not a whole lot of uh, faces either. Just to point it out, he himself would say Shar Aznable is dead. Hmm, that seems for the best. Zeon, no, space noids have, have to move past the fantasy of the Red Comet. I mean, to be fair, everyone else who's, who should have power or had power is dead. I mean, or has rejected the power. Do you believe you can be the symbol of that princess? Sometimes I wonder... Dreaming of the future is important, but we need to deal with the struggle facing us now. I'm sure the captain will do everything he can to help us. Still, I only fear I've added to his burden. Using his feelings of guilt to... 
princess. Forcing the dead to return to the battlefield. Building the League Militaire under the name of Jin Gehenem and supporting the Hamtopia from afar. When you look at it, I might be the true villain masterminding this war. <laughs> Do you have any regrets? Too many, but even so... Even so, we cannot allow ourselves to stop moving forward. That I recognize. That's from him, right? Something like it at any rate. I believe I have the will to fight. To keep fighting for what I believe in, just like him. Shar, I believe we'll have the chance to meet again someday. When that day comes, I promise I'll play your favorite song. So... Hey! Ellie is a mission ace again! Yay! Total score 15, 186,000 credits for uh, 4,900 XP, 317 PP, 3,000 MXP, 2675 bonus MXP. And I did it in one turn. <laughs> yeah, she's the only surviving zombie. So to a certain extent, like, the power is there if she take if she can take it. I mean, it got a stat boost, but I don't think it's as good. All right. Sign. Although it says it's more like it, the its mech strength is higher. I mean, part of that is because it has a map weapon. Get Coney back in there. Alright, let's see. We still have those. We have a sister and brother. Edge is worried about the protagonist, but accidentally incurs her wrath. Oh. Oh. Uh, actually, let's hold off on that real fast. Uh, let's go ahead and look for... I'm not going to do them yet, but I want to look for the other relic missions. That's L5 front. Debris belt. Asagi and Duke Fire have left on a patrol mission. Jonah and Ellie have left on a patrol mission. Whoops. Earth Sphere outskirts. Yeah, there was a fake Maneva, but that was in uh, uh, Double Zeta. And that was because uh, um, Quattro kidnapped the real one. Let's escape Kawaza. Alright, there's the ultimate relic of the blade in Ulambana in uh, L4. Let me actually make a note of this. Ah, I almost hit the wrong button. I think that's everywhere. Down to Earth. Well, let's go patrol Lhasa. Shino and Suzukaze have left on a patrol mission. Indian Ocean. Uh, Taiga and Asagi have left on a patrol mission.
Uh, European Front. I think that might be new. Athens. Ernie and Dedarian have left on a patrol mission. So I do not remember there being a European Front. It's just African Front. South American Front. Patrol Augusta, Randy and Gilliam have left on a patrol mission. So the ultimate relic of uplifting is in Winnipeg. And Anchorage has uh, ultimate relic of power. Okay, so there's two in North America. It is new after the Awakened mission? Okay. That's what I thought. And I still can't go there. Black Ocean. And nothing there. Okay. Uh, nothing at Mars. Oops. Yeah, the normal uh, cancel button I expect to take me back out, but that takes me back to the menu. Okay. With your game, it seems to like sending some of the same people on patrol missions. One reason why Gridman has your third highest score out of your team. Wow. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get a save. Head back to the title screen. I feel like we saw that one before. You notice the giant hole where Sydney was and went, I wonder why that... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. All right, but uh, we're going to take a break here for those watching on YouTube. Uh, for those watching on Twitch, don't go anywhere, because we will be right back. <laughs> 